Hi guys, so you guys, I have been in therapy for the past few weeks, maybe over two months at this point, but yes, I have been in therapy and I'm going to be telling you guys all about my experience and why I went into therapy to start with. What you see is not always what you get, okay? <laughs> Forget all this glitz and glam of, you know, being a content creator of what you guys see on your screen. A lot of things go on behind the scenes, but those of us who are always coming to you guys, you know, smiling and laughing, you might not know about these things yeah so the first one is basically the feeling of uncertainty one of the reasons why i wanted to talk to someone was because i have been feeling this uh, let me not call it anxiety but i've been feeling this uncertainty with so many things okay with so many things i'm talking about my marriage my kids my career actually my marriage and my career my life in general i've been having this feeling of uncertainty let me talk about marriage first of all basically people always say that women were prepared for marriage but men were not prepared for marriage right you guys that thing is a big fat lie it's not true for majority of us okay majority of women were not prepared for marriage quote me anywhere yes we were taught about oh cooking and cleaning and taking care of your home in that aspect of you know physical manual labor basically but we were not taught so many things that are very important in marriage for instance we were not taught how to communicate okay both male and female we were not taught how to really communicate our feelings how to say what is going on with us and how we feel and we were also not taught how to receive such information from our spouses how to basically communicate because communication is, is a two-way street and for me i've been married for this is my going to 12 years now of you know me being married and sometimes it still feels like me and my husband are speaking two different languages. So it feels like I'm saying A and he's saying Z. Like, what is going on? I thought we were past this stage, okay? So yeah, without going into too much details, we were having some kind of um, miscommunication. Basically me saying, I wanted this, I wanted this to happen at a certain time. I wanted things to be this way. And him saying, no... Um, things are not work the way you want, things are, you know, basically not what you think. What I wanted, he could not provide this for me, <laughs> okay? And the reason why he could not provide it for me was because of certain things that I wasn't aware of, okay? Um, by provide, I don't mean material things, I mean a certain... Anyway, basically, there was just this uncertainty of why are we speaking two different languages? What is the future for us? And added to this uncertainty is the fact that the way things are going in this country, it was almost, I was almost feeling like I was in limbo. I was like, am I moving forward? Am I moving backwards? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can relate to that feeling, but I've been feeling that way lately. Like, am I moving forward or am I moving backwards? Am I going to the left or am I going to the right? Like, what do I do to make sure that, you know, my family's future is secure, that I'm making the right choice for my family, that I'm, you know, protecting my family and all of that? I was going through that phase of, you know, being very uncertain. And my husband too was going through that phase, but we were not we were not communicating it to each other, okay? I felt like he was just going through life with, you know, knowing what he wanted to achieve with his life and he's just going for it without really considering what me I want to achieve in my own life too or what I really think is best for the family. So I had that, I thought that's what he was doing while the man there was busy trying to get himself too, was trying to understand what is going on, okay? So yeah, it, it took me, you know, going to therapy for me to realize that way too. I'm actually going about this the wrong way. I'm actually not communicating in my husband's language. We actually are not listening to each other, okay? We were we were hearing each other but we we're not really listening and some of the listening parts was from my part as well in fact majority of the not listening part was from my part so when i actually calmed down to with the help of my therapist anyway i'll go into that when i actually calmed down to really listen to what the man was saying and i was like oh we're both on the same page basically but we're both speaking different languages but we're both saying the same thing okay so anyway that really helps my marriage that really helped me and my husband to you know get to a better place communication wise okay and yeah that actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video this video is sponsored by better help better help is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100 percent online 
this is why it was accessible to me because you guys know how things are in Nigeria. But with the help of better help, I was able to get a therapist that I have been seeing for the past few weeks. With better help, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, better help can match you with the right therapies from their network then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable whether it is via text chat phone or video call and you guys know me if you know me if you've been watching me you will know that i don't like video calls or calls in general so having a therapist that i can chat with has changed the game for me like i love it so much i look forward to our sessions you can message your therapist at any time if you have something that you want to talk to them about you know you can just message them at any time and they will respond as soon as they can and you can also book live sessions to talk with your therapist basically where you talk live it's not just you dropping a message and going it is you're dropping a message they're responding to your message immediately okay or if it's a phone call that you want they're talking to you directly on the phone immediately and if for some reason your therapist is not the right fit for you you can request for a new therapist immediately at no additional charge with better help you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from an in-office therapy but with a therapist who is custom picked for you there is more flexibility and it is at an affordable price get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash a daisy space okay it is better help h-e-l-p dot com slash a daisy space i'm going to leave a link in the description box as well so just click on my link to get 10 percent off yeah thank you again to better help for sponsoring this video so aside the communication issues with my husband i was able to resolve that with the help of my therapist one of the reasons why i even like my therapist is or going to therapy is the fact that I don't know you, you don't know me, okay? Like, <laughs> I love it so much. You guys know me now. I'm, I'm actually a, I can be very shy, okay? I can be very shy and reserved. So, I don't know you, you don't know me, okay? So, I can tell you anything and I don't feel any way. Like, I know that my secret, first of all, is safe with you. And I know that because you don't know me, you're not going to be biased in any way. You're not going to be biased towards my husband because you are a professional. You are supposed to, you know, give me neutral, helpful answers, okay? Yeah, she really gave me good advice. And one thing I really loved about going to therapy, I'm still in therapy anyway, like it's still continuing. I don't know when I'm going to stop because I actually look forward to it, okay? One thing I really loved about it was the fact that she used to give me tasks to achieve between therapy sessions, okay? So, for instance, let's say we meet today on a Thursday, she'll tell me our next meeting is going to be next Thursday. So before that, our next meeting, you're going to do this and do that and do that, okay? Can you do it? Like, she, it's not like she's forcing you. She'll ask you, can you do it? And I'll be like, sure, I'll, you know, I'll try and do it. Anything they say I should do, I will do it very well so that I will not, it will not be that I'm the one that costs you know, things not to go well or that I didn't do what I was told to do, so why am I complaining, that kind of thing. So anything she tells me to do, I make sure I do it before the next week. At some point, I was really overwhelmed with, you know, mommy duties, parenting and all of that. Like, I was so overwhelmed, my husband wasn't around. Because whenever he's around there, to be honest, I think I've said this several times, when my husband is around, I'm a different person, okay? I'm balling, I'm enjoying my life, I'm good, okay? But when he's not around, it's almost like I'm struggling. Not like I, I can't do it, but I'm always struggling because i mean i have my youtube i have my kids i'm supposed to take care of i'm supposed to also have my friends and also have a life and all of that and because he's not around at all when he's not around it's quite difficult i'm just like a single mom right so he wasn't around that period and i was really going through a lot so i talked to my therapist about it and you know she told me about the importance of self-care another thing is eh, one thing i like about therapy is that it's not like i don't know these things okay it's not like I mean, there's some things she told me I didn't know before, but there's some things that she has been telling me that I know these things, it's a no-brainer, we talk about it all the time. But having somebody remind you and almost make it a duty, like make you take it as a duty to do these things, is very helpful, right? So because she told me, okay, you need to take, take time for yourself, you need to, you know, do some self-care, you need to hang out with your friends, you need to do what makes you happy... I made it a point of duty to actually do it, okay? It's, it's, it's not enough to just sit down and say, oh, I'm going to take care of myself. 
knowing that, oh, I have to take care of myself so that I will give somebody feedback of how it went, is a different ball game. When I started, you know, taking care of myself and really, you know, doing things that I love, I didn't even do too much of it, but the little that I did went a long way for me. And, you know, I started to get better. I started to feel better. I wasn't so um emotional i think i even made a post about this on social media on um on instagram stories i felt like i needed 10 heads you know 20 hands to achieve all i wanted to achieve okay and me relaxing doesn't mean that i wasn't doing anything i just started to focus more on my kids because i was noticing some things that i wasn't really comfortable with okay i'm just going to be honest with you guys you guys might see me and say oh she's such a great mom Yes, I'm all of that, okay? But at the same time, yes, I'm all of that. I'm not going to deny that part because sometimes in a bid to be humble or whatever, many of us put ourselves down and not actually recognize where we do well, okay? So I'm not here to say I'm a terrible mom. I'm not a terrible mom. I'm actually a good mom, okay? However, I'm not perfect. So I realized that I was making some mistakes with my kids. Thank God I realized those mistakes quickly okay one of the mistakes i was making with my kids was just allowing them to watch tv for too long okay allowing them to play with their tabs and watch television for too long it just dawned on me like in the past few weeks that way too my kids actually watch tv more than normal like well, I don't know what is normal by anyone's standard, but I mean, we are always watching TV because we have an inverter, we have solar, so there's always light. So my kids, we are always watching TV. Um, not like they're watching anything bad or terrible, but they were always watching TV, okay? They were always with their tabs. And when it started to dawn on me again was when anytime I take away their tab or anytime I put off the TV, they start getting cranky and start getting worked up. I was like, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hey, what's going on here? My kids, we are getting addicted to television and their tablets, okay? Mind you, they, do, they go to school though, so they're not at home all day, every day. They go to school, they come back around three, but sometimes before they finish at least dressing up and, you know, getting having their lunch is by four so by that four o'clock they will watch tv or sometimes to six when the lesson teacher comes or sometimes to 6 30 to 7 to 8 the children will be there watching tv when i now put off the tv or your time to sleep yeah i don't want to sleep can i just have 10 minutes more can i just have five minutes more i was like no 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 not under my watch okay yes it's convenient for me when they're watching tv at least i know they're not enjoying themselves somewhere they're just in front of the tv there they're not disturbing me and all of that it's convenient for me but it is not good for them okay it's not good for their soul it's not good for their mind it's not good for their personalities to be stuck in front of the television when i was growing up i didn't have this much access to television because first of all we did not have 24 7 light and second of all like what was there to watch right so i didn't have this much access to television but i enjoyed my childhood okay i enjoyed my childhood i remember when i was living in a house where we didn't really have like a good compound we were staying upstairs so for my kids to play in the compound we have to come down there were cars in the compound they had to run in between cars i didn't like it I remember then I was praying to God that I would get a house that has a good compound. I now got one that has like a fantastic compound, like on rival, like in most places where I go to, you know, especially people that are renting, I, they don't have houses with compounds like this, okay? So why did I now get what I wanted, what I prayed for, and then now my children are not even playing in the compound, okay? My children are now stuck to the television. So I had to stop it, okay? I had to put my foot down. I had to insist that they are not watching television for more than one hour like once it gets to one hour a day and that a day is not every day it's the days that i feel like just allowing them watch once it gets to one hour on the dot like we literally set alarm for it once it gets to one hour on the dot time up okay go and play outside so they're either playing outside before they come back and watch tv for one hour or they watch tv for one hour then they go and play outside whatever the case they are not watching TV for more than one hour, okay? And it has changed a lot in my kids. Like now, I can switch off the TV and everybody's like, yeah, time up and they just leave. If it was before, after watching TV for four hours, you switch it off and they'll still be complaining. But now, I say, okay, time up, time to switch off the TV. 
bam, everybody just turns up and goes to play. Like, in fact, sometimes now they don't even switch on the TV again. Like, they even forget. <laughs> they forget that, you know, they can watch TV. They're outside playing, they're outside having fun, chasing chicken, you know, playing with flowers, just doing all kinds of things outside. It is what I really want, you know, for my kids. So I'm so happy that, you know, I was able to put my foot down when it comes to things like that. Also, when it comes to eating, I put my foot down, my foot down, and I was like, you are going to eat what is on the timetable, okay? You see what's written on the timetable? You, you, can, you can read, right? That is what everybody's eating and you're going to eat it, okay? Initially, it was a problem. They didn't want to eat, you know, what's on the timetable. They wanted to just eat cereal or choose their own food. But right now, they know what is on the timetable, even without looking at it. They know that it's Wednesday night, we're going to have eba and soup, okay? So, it is what it is, everybody, can carry your food and eat. There is no complaint. There is no argument. The only thing that we do now is sometimes I'll say, they'll come and ask me for, you know, fruits, maybe apples or grapes or granite, okay? Yeah, they like snacking on those things. So when they come and ask me for those, I'll be like, after you have your dinner, then you can come and, you know, have these things. And, you know, once they have their dinner, they finish their food. You can have as many grapes as you want. You can have as many apples or granite as you want, okay? I also stop buying biscuits for my kids to go to school with. They still have biscuits, or like once in a while I give them biscuits to eat, once in a while I give them juice to drink, but it's no longer an everyday thing like it used to be. You guys, this thing I'm telling you here, I can't tell you how happy it makes me, okay? Because I keep saying it, growing up, I did not have access to this much junk food okay i didn't have access to this much junk in general by junk i mean junk tv junk food junk you know behavior <laughs> i did not have much, this much access to it and it's and still i still struggle with my weight still today so imagine then starting kids that young on junk food what is the future going to be like for them someone like me i feel like i'm addicted to junk food and addicted to you know food in general if I now start at that age to allow my kids to, you know, be picky for what they want to eat or be picky about what they want to eat or, you know, have that much junk, what will not happen to them in the future? How are they going to be in the future? Obviously, some kids, you know, grow up eating junk until now they are still slim, they are still healthy. Kudos to them. But I don't know which of my kids will end up like me. So let me start now and make sure that everybody eats healthy so that when you get to the future if you want if you want scatter them that's your business okay but anyway talking about my weight you guys my weight has been a problem for a very long time i think i've said this several times i there's nothing i can say again that people have not heard before if you've been watching me my weight has been a problem for me however right now i have started going to the gym and i'm loving it okay i've been fairly consistent my therapy also helped me with it right but i've been fairly consistent with going to the gym i go to the gym now two to three times a week even though yeah two to three times a week basically is is what i is how many times i go to the gym i can't do every day i can't even do four times like i beg let's just start small okay i'm coming from zero times a week to two times a week okay C give me my flowers okay <laughs> give me my flowers so yeah because of it i've been going to the gym so that has helped me tremendously with my mood with my you know attitude and my everything okay gymming has helped me but when it comes to my food and eating control and all of that i've still not gotten it under control but me and my therapist we are working on it right now that's basically the phase we are on right now we are working on why do i overeat why do i binge eat why do i eat my feelings why do i emotionally eat okay why uh, why like we're, we're diving deep into the why and trying to control or you know adjust things from there okay because if you are able to if you're able to understand the why you'll be able to catch yourself before it happens you know so that's where we are right now i'm going to give you guys an update on that in a later video okay so if you're in nigeria and you don't really have access to a therapist just use the link in the description box, my link to better help, okay? Use that link, sign up. Trust me, you're going to love it, okay? But if you're having a, an emergency, okay, you're having a crisis, that is not where you go to, please, okay? Go and see your doctor if you're having, like, maybe health challenge or whatever, or mental health crisis. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you can relate to anything I talked about, if you learned anything from today's video, if you have any topics that you want me to cover as well on this channel that is related relating to motherhood, relating to womanhood, relating to just me in particular or relating to
to you in particular then please leave a comment in the comment section or you can send me a dm or an email you know talking about your issues and i'll be sure to you know make a video about it and address it okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye